Having pets is great, but it's also a lot of work. Learning how to feed, train, and manage an animal can be quite tough at first, but in the end, it's pretty worth it. I've made many mistakes trying to raise my pets, but there was one that I could have easily voided if I just did a little research. So, I have a cat. If you saw my cat's video, you know that her name is Snake. She's a Maine Coon, and she makes sounds like... But there was a time where she almost died because I made a very stupid mistake. This incident happened around April. My friend lived with me at the time, and someone had gifted her some fresh flowers. Upon receiving the gift, my friend decided to place them on a table we don't use very much. They actually brightened up the space, to be honest, so it was pretty nice. I'm the type of person to not get near anything that doesn't belong to me, so I never really got that good of a look at them. I just went on as if they weren't there. Now, keep in mind that we never used this table, so there was never any reason for me to go look at them in the first place. They were some orange-looking things. I don't know. I don't know anything about flowers. A few days passed by and I kept thinking about maybe looking up if they were toxic to cats. I've heard poinsettias are toxic to them before, so I couldn't get the thought out of my head, but I kept putting it off until one night I saw Snake literally chomping on a flower. She literally crunched it like a Dorito. I searched the flower up and yep, it was toxic. Snake was gobbling down an orange lily. If a cat ingests the stem, leaf, petal, or pollen of the orange daylily, side effects will develop within minutes after ingestion. And as the toxin is absorbed into the bloodstream, it settles in the kidneys, damaging the kidneys and gradually progressing to kidney failure within 36 to 72 hours, resulting in death of the cat. I was freaking out. Just look at her. She had a lot of pollen on her face and paws, so I did my best to wipe them off so she wouldn't keep ingesting the pollen. And of course, she ate the flower right as my local vet clinic was closed. Luckily, I found another one that was really far away. I explained on the phone that she had eaten the flower and all they said was, okay, we can treat her, but you need to call this number to confirm what flower she ate. But I have it on my dashboard. I already know what flower it is. No, 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 no. You need to confirm it. I watched her eat it with my own eyes. They had me pay $50 to some random cat expert to confirm information that I already knew. Oh yeah, that flower is toxic. I know! <laughs> Are there any vets in the comments that can explain why I had to do that? So, for three days, her kidneys were pumped full of fluid. After a hefty vet bill, Snake came back home safely and didn't have any complications. So, crisis averted. Please don't make the same mistake I did. In fact, here's a list of harmful plants that you should keep your cat away from. If you saw the first cat's video, then you would also know about Ghost. We had to say goodbye to him. He and his owner moved away. And he was one of the best boys out there. He will certainly be missed. Poor Snake was super confused. She kept searching around the house to see where everyone went, but they were gone. I'm really curious to know what animals think when people just disappear out of their lives. She probably thinks they're dead. After a while, I could tell that she was pretty lonely, so I went out and got a new kitty. This is Oreo. She's a silver Maine Coon. It took Snake a while to adjust, but after three days, they became really good friends. Okay. So, Oreo. It was a little rocky in the beginning. At first, she really didn't like using the litter box, so she would go and poop in the corner of my front room. Bruh. I figured out a way to overcome this. I put down a bunch of double-sided tape onto the area and added a motion-censored spray can. Each time she got close to the area, a puff of air would spray out and scare her away. If you have a cat that likes to jump on counters, this is a great tool to use because to the cat, the territory is saying go away instead of you, so it's a lot more effective. The goal was to make the litter box more inviting, so each time she ate, I had to take her to the litter box like a little toddler. I keep mine in the garage, so I had to teach her to use the doggy door. I would use a treat and make her go in and out of the door. And she's super smart, so she started picking it up. After two weeks of that, she knew how to do it on her own. She's honestly such a great cat. 
Here are some of her characteristics. Oreo is very funny. Every time I walk by her, she immediately goes into puddle mode. She turns into a black void. She'll drink from the water bowl and then run back to my lap with her chin all wet. And so I nicknamed her Drippy Chin. <laughs> Her canine teeth are coming in and are growing on top of her old baby teeth. So every time she opens and closes her mouth, it makes a crunchy sound. Did you know that as a cat ages, they end up swallowing those teeth? That, or you step on it on the floor one day. You thought Legos were bad? How about a sharp tooth? Ah! Oreo is a daredevil. The first night I got her, all I heard was... <laughs> Instead of taking the stairs, Oreo takes the faster way by jumping off the banister onto the table below. She has no chill. But at the same time, she's also very timid. She's very scared to meet new people, but she warms up after a few minutes. Which is normal, like, she's a little kitten. Oreo is obsessed with Tails. Snake's tail, her own, toys that look like Tails. <laughs> She's so cute and adorable. It's just so funny watching her like chase her own tail. I thought only dogs did that, but I guess not. I've been proven wrong. And just look out how floofy her tail is. Little Swiffer Duster tail she got going on. She really didn't know how to play with toys. She would grab onto them for dear life and then take them away. But then she quickly realized that toys aren't fun unless they actually move. <laughs> so she would take the fish pool toy and play by herself. Snake has been a wonderful older sister to her. Every time they're outside, Snake checks up on Oreo and tries to encourage her to be there. Snake had to teach Oreo some proper manners, such as the proper way to fight. Oreo used to bite way too hard. And now Oreo loves her so much that she's become Snake Shadow. They basically share the same brain cell at this point. They are always together. I can't wait to see Oreo become more confident in the coming months. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to take care of both of them. They're two spectacular girls, and I'm glad I wake up to them every morning. So what about you guys? Do you guys have any pet stories you'd like to share? Did you ever make a mistake when raising a pet? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you have a cat, send pictures of them to me through my cat's Instagram because I want to see them all. It's been so long since I've made a story time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.